There are men and women among us, driven by passion and commitment, to find happiness and meaning. They inspire us to better our lives and aspire others to help others. They are visionaries. They espouse events, ideas, technological innovations that make significant shifts in our thinking. To make a better future for us, they pursue game-changing inventions which make us change the way we think, we live, we carry our lives, the way we see things. We ask ordinary people to tell our stories about their ideas, what they believe are game changers. Journey with us by telling stories of these visionaries and their game changers. The secret behind the small school success in international robotics competition. Robots used to be just props in futuristic movies. For Philippine robotics, the future may just be around the corner. At the Dr. Yanga Colleges in Bulacan, students are so proficient in robotics that they are able to compete with the best students from far more technologically advanced countries. So what is the school secret? And how will spreading it become a game changer in technological education? Who would have thought that inside the four walls of this school in Bukawi, Bulacan, sits an award-winning pool of robots? Yes, you heard it right. Robots. Robots that can teach, pack relief goods, and do farm work. Robots that can be submerged in water and yes, even boldly go into space. All these robots were created here at the DYCI or the Dr. Yanga Colleges Incorporated, a sort of Hogwarts school for young Filipino robotic wizards. For eight years now, DYCI had been tinkering with wires, chips, and other electronic devices and make them come to life. In grade 5 po ako, tinanong po ako pwede akong sumama ng robotics summer camp. Then, nag-decline po ako kasi ayoko po sayangin yung oras ko, yung pangahinga ko ng summer sa another classes po. Then, nung trinay ko po mag-combine, masaya naman po palang magpunta sa robotics summer camp. Then, eventually, yung training po pala na yun is choosing kung sino po yung ilalaban for the Philippine Robotics Olympiad. The Control Center consolidates and reflects all the data. Luckily po, nasama po ako doon sa first three members. Yun po, nagtuloy-tuloy na po doon hanggang ngayon po, nasa robotics community pa rin po ako ng school na. Their first win came in Australia in 2013, where they won the People's Award and the Judges' Choice Award. Also in 2013, they won the Silver Medal in Indonesia where a total of 392 teams from over 35 countries joined. In St. Louis, Missouri, the team's project presentation won first place, besting 81 teams from 36 countries. More than winning a competition, DYCI's robotic supervisor, R.C. Pineda, sees the technology as a tool that transforms education in their university. UACI you now is unimaginable without robotics. And when you talk about robotics in the Philippines, it is also linked with DYCI. Pioneering in terms of achievements. Um, Avant-garde, catalyst, benchmarker kasi kami pagdating sa, sa robotics or game changer kami pagdating sa robotics. Currently, 
Robotics is an adapted program in over 500 schools all over the Philippines. The program is handpicked and designed by FELTA, a non-government organization established in 1966 to promote educational materials through school technologies such as robotics. We train teachers to be more comfortable with this kind of new school technology. And then from then, we saw that there's a need to integrate the robotics program into the curriculum. <laughs> The schools and the students are very, very motivated to study robotics. Why? Because of several factors. And one of the most important factors is they were able to apply what they have learned in the classroom. In the classroom, the teacher teaches about matter, about friction, about energy. And doing robotics, they will actually understand these uh, theories and concepts by actually doing them. For coaches like Romir, the students' enthusiasm was a constant inspiration. As we progress along the years, we're lucky to have students where they, they have the innate interest in building robots. At the same time, the creativity in doing or building and programming robots, which is specifically for a specific team every year. Robotics help newbies like Arvin Santos to nurture his long-time passion to solve and build things. Yung wala pa lang po nung bata po ako, mahilig na po ako sa um, mga mind games and toys po. Katulad po nung Lego, Rubik's Cube, yung chess po, mga ganun po. Na, na feeling ko naman po, nakapagpataas po nung intellectual capacity ko. Arvin started in robotics only in 2014, but in that year, his team's entry called Ludwig Hans, won fourth in the first Lego League competition in the Philippines. Like the robots, Arvin is steadily acquiring new skills as he continues to develop his full potential in his craft. Sa pagbabagong bihis po ng oras, kailangan po ng innovation, kailangan po ng, ng mga, mga new technologies po. I think through Lego Robotics, Ito po yung magi head start ko po para po um, matupad ko po yung pangarap. Robotics is helping shape the minds of students like Alan and Arvin. And through technology, they are seeing the world at a different light. Siyempre po, fast growing na po yung technology. Very need na po siya for this 21st century. Baka po maging way pa nga po natin ng technology for the Philippines to be equalized with other countries in the global competitiveness po. DYCI robots are designed to provide solutions to real-life problems. The robots are meant to be small game changers in Filipino communities. These creations, these inventions, are like toys for us grown-ups. But if you're going to look down in the very basics of these creations, you will understand that these kids are using the very core of physics, you know, mathematics, computer technology, and if we are going to help them by supporting them and convincing them, inspiring them to build more of these machines, we can help them patent this and eventually we will make them usable for society, for domestic and international um, availability. Robotics is helping shape the minds of students like Alan and Arvin. And through technology, they are seeing the world at a different light. Our inventions can help because it can change not, not everything, but it can change something. The robots are meant to be small game changers in Filipino communities. They say curiosity is the spark behind every great idea. But to sustain the idea, it has to be nurtured and given support. We already have that spark in the students of DYCI. All we need to do is give it a chance to grow with the help of people and institutions who believe that creativity and innovations are crucial in changing the game.
So who or what is a game changer? Game changers are things, ideas, or they are people who put forth pioneering concepts that change the way things are made, the way we do things, or even the way we think. We'll discover the most enterprising people, seek and encourage potential trailblazers, and take a peek into the minds of game changers.